Hello right bags, it's Jade. Welcome to another Ark Survival Evolve news video. Make sure you like the video if you want to see more Ark content. Stop, 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 stop there. You may notice something wrong with this video. The sound sounds like I'm literally sitting in my bathtub. Note to self, make sure your mic is turned around the right way. I apologise guys, but I didn't want to have to re-record the whole 15 minutes of me waffling on. So enjoy my bathroom filled video. And a quick reminder, I have got big news coming about my new servers where I'm going to be playing on a carnivorous, carnivorous, carnivorous free server. I'm trying to make it so you can't tame carnivorous creatures. You can only literally run around on herbivores, maybe some omnivores as well. So if you're interested in joining on my servers, Xbox and PlayStation, come and join Discord. The servers will have no password, but if you want to get a heads up of when it's all going to be launching and everything that's been going on, join my Discord right now. Anyway, back with the ARC news. It's been a little bit light. It's all been doom and gloom. I'm not going to go on about the cheating and drooping this time, I promise. Although it is a big issue, actually, the amount of official players that play the game is pretty low. Like, it's really low. Literally 75% of the player base that play Ark Survival Evolved play on unofficial servers or they play on their single player. There is only a tiny fraction of players that actually play official. So it is important. It is absolutely something they need to get fixed. They still have nowhere closer to deciding what they're doing with all the duped items. But I'm not going to go through all of it. I'm not going to go through the latest tweets from that. Because I feel like I've been covering it from death to death. The devs do seem to have it in mind. They are keep constantly saying they're looking at the tech. They're finding a way to get rid of it or they're doing something about it. So when we get some proper news, I'll let you guys know. Put that out there right now because I don't want this to be just another video about that. I do want to focus on Genesis, which is what we're looking at right now. The new mysterious reveal. Community crunches have been awful. I don't know if Sed's been busy doing other stuff, but really they, they might as well just call them community tweets because there's just no information in them whatsoever other than trying to tease us with these pictures. Now they do have codes. If you translate this hex stuff on the left and the right, I'm going to tell you what it means. I've got the codes. Pencils has gone and translated it for me. Thank you very much, dear. And obviously, yeah, we've got some new sort of tech robot, tech creature. Is it a tech tripod? People said it's a camera. Other people said it's a diving uh, mech that you'll be able to use to go underwater. Let me know what you think this is. Is it just one of the scout sort of uh, uh, robots mechs just revoked, revamped, rebooted for the next DLC? Or is it going to be something more useful? Is it going to be able to walk on them legs? I've done a very poor job of piecing it together. Shout out to Syntac. He did the last one like this. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to copy him. I'll do the same thing just to show you guys on my video how I did it. Uh, but yeah, no, to seriously, I'm rubbish with uh, Photoshop. I ended up using PowerPoint just to see if I could pin it together. So yeah, that's the original image that's on the post. I'm gonna show you that guys now. And you can see I've just put the eyes together. We've got the sort of side bits that protect it. And then we've got these bits. So they, it just looks a bit like a tripod. If that's like a back leg, I think that's the back leg. I think that's meant to, as if it is three-legged. I was starting to think maybe that's just part of that, but I do think it is a three-legged uh, tech creature, tech robot. People are unhappy. You guys have been, see I've seen it in the comments on Twitter. I've seen it in the forum comments. People are really not happy with so much focus on tech. They really want the dinosaurs. I don't know. DLC for me is meant to be something different. It's meant to make the base game into something unique sometimes. Sometimes it is about just adding what's already there and, and adding more. But for me, I like it when DLC changes and mixes stuff up. That's why I like so many different types of mods, where it really changes the focus of the game. Obviously, having more tech robots and tech creatures isn't necessarily changing the whole game. It's maybe just they don't want to keep putting in the same style raptors, the same style creatures. But as lots of people pointed out, there's loads of dinosaurs that Wildcard could have used that are completely different from what we've got, but they just do seem to be focusing on tech. Ark isn't, never has been a just a dino game, but when most of your creatures you're taming are dinosaurs, it does suddenly become that in most people's eyes. Regardless of what you think it is, it does become a dino game for most people. So anyway, let me know what you think. Is Ark a dino game? Do you want to see more dinos? Or are you quite happy with the fantasy feel? Obviously, we've got like the lava lizard and we've got the big huge turtle. So there's lots of other creatures in the new DLC. We've still got no new info about like a reveal. Is anything going to be going on? We've got another trailer. 
Really weird. They literally announced it like eight weeks ago nearly now, and we've had nothing, literally not a lot. This is the second image we've had in that time. The only real bit of news we've had about Genesis. I really hope this means that they've actually got something in a workable state. They've been hiring lots of people. They've been hiring brand new staff for Arc and Atlas, which by the way, I will be live streaming their reveal tonight. We are getting a Xbox Atlas release date. If you don't know about this, Atlas is coming to Xbox. It's going to be cross-play with Steam. Um, so you'll be able to play on Steam with Xbox friends, Xbox friends with Steam. No news on PS4, no news if it's going to be cross-play. But that's going to be announced tonight on Mixer. So I'm probably going to live stream it and just play a bit of Atlas beforehand. So tune in, check me out tonight. I'm going to put the social media details on my Twitter when I'll be live. And obviously just make sure you've got notifications turned on. Um, so there we go. Let's translate what this hex means. You've seen the, the picture of the robot enough now. So Lovely Pencils translated this and she put the corruption data that was on the left and the right. And the one on the left says corrupted data. And the one on the right is the codes that when you translate and send it to Helena, if you don't know what all this is, you can go and check out my previous Genesis videos, code breaking videos. Um, requesting status report, as expected, in other words, a bit of a mess. That's why you're here. Use validation code for your next terminal entry. So you're meant to put this code into the Survive the Arc forums and you could get a trophy, but it's already gone. People have actually got it already. Um, I do think there's a little bit more here. I, I don't know if it's that for sure, but I'm sure this code relates to something else or this was maybe the code that uh, Pencils had to translate. But anyway, they're not really revealing what's happening with the creatures. Like in the times gone past, You'd have a mysterious mystery, and then we'd get told a week later, or like five days later, what it was. They'd have a bit of information, but they're leaving it all up to us. So, yeah, you go into the terminals part. If we have a look at uh, one of these, I think it's you've got to go into your profile. Just for future reference, if you've missed all this, and I, I don't know how, but you never know. You might have missed it. Uh, and then we go to edit profile. And there you go. You've got the uplink. If you paste that in, which you can see I've done lots of times with other things. It's meant to give you a special trophy if you're the first person and obviously you'll get a translation as well. Um, save that, it's already going to be done. It's already going to be nabbed. Oh, it says active. Oh, there we go. That's what I've got in the past. This is all the stuff we've did in the past. So if you, this is all brand new. You're catching this for the first time. You missed all them videos. Well, be lucky. I'm not going through it all over again. But yeah, that's that's what you're meant to do with this code. So we know what that says. Yeah, it still seems a little bit like there's not a lot of information there. As expected, in other words, a bit of a mess. That's why you're here. Maybe it's a cleaning bot. As expected, a bit of a mess. That's why you're here. It really isn't giving a lot of information. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm a little bit disappointed. If you're wondering where you take this code, I, I explained this in the live stream, but I didn't explain it very well. If you actually type in Arc Ascension, go to the wiki, you'll find it here. And this is where you put the code in. It's got the letters, so it's got like on the left-hand side, the little prong, the right-hand side, the prong, the downward prong, downward dog, and just the circle on its own. Or the hexagon, I should say, don't say circle. Um, and that's how you translate them codes. You have to literally type in da, d, 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 and it will give you a code, and that's how it works, guys. So again, just a quick one if you missed out on that one too. So yeah, Mysterious Mysteries introducing, that's it. Like, it's just so dry. On the horizon, mesh detection. The engineers are hard at work on improving the mesh detection functionality. We aren't always vocal about advancements in this area. Hope to share more information about the work that's been done in the future. Enforcement, if you know someone abusing game systems, please report by submitting a ticket. So again, just really light, and there's a, the usual stuff. That is. Considering this game is huge, it's got 16 million players, that's all we can offer in a weekly post. One weekly post where we get from the official thingy. You know, there are big games out there that are doing much better jobs at the moment. I, I, I've got to say it, we're not getting enough. And I'm not talking about I need to know information about Genesis. I'm talking about anything, you know. Give us some new stuff. Give us something to think about. Give us fan art again. They were doing fan art Fridays on Twitter and highlighting fan art from, um, you know, survivors and people that they've done. Give us something like that. Give us a focus on YouTubers or streamers that are doing art content give us focus on some mods in here do something rather than just what it is is these tiny little bits of information that really aren't progressing they're really not making anything different the only exciting thing about this post is this picture of course hype 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 and that's what wildcard kind of want us to do but it would be nice if this is a community post 
let's keep it up it's started really well we used to have like bits on from the social media feed we'd see what the social media manager had been talking about maybe even do something like get to know developers fun come of toyed with this in the past some people don't like all that stuff but i think it adds something to the post just to keep people reading it and be invested a little bit more and we know that they're working on stuff they've asked for our feedback in terms of what they want fixed or what we want to see fixed more there was a big spreadsheet they're calling it the community quality of life catalog and you know i've gone through this a little bit a few weeks ago but this is the spreadsheet of all the known sort of things that are going on um, and this is what they've completed so far they've added a reticle queue to the spyglass adjusted the giga rage so it's more difficult to activate lower the maturation time of gas bags to rhino levels allow bullets to stack to 100 so i guess this is going to be coming into the game soon if it's not already in there show the stats of dinos in cryopods apparently that's been added as well so all this stuff this is all the new stuff that are requests doesn't mean it's going to happen but these are the most requested stuff that they've said we want they've just decided whether or not it's going to work if it's archived it basically means they're going to revisit it later or it's maybe not the priority right now um, and then if it's new obviously they've got to go through it all just look how much stuff there is so there we go guys not much going on in world of arc hence why i'm just not doing much news videos or art videos some of you guys want some art content and there hasn't been much there so that's why i'm kicking off my server i'm going to be live streaming every night for the next two weeks maybe not every night arc but every two nights at least and i'm going to be trying my how to basically tame or survive on a world where carnivorous creatures are deadly they've got like higher stamina higher um, melee higher speed everything you could think of to make it a bit harder and we're also going to have no tech either so it's going to be a really hard server if you want to come play come join my xbox and the playstation servers all the info will be in discord it's called arc untamable that's going to be going live in the next few days the servers start on the 25th once i've sorted a few last bits out so until then until we get any more news about arc genesis and some new creatures i'll see you guys for the atlas live stream tonight and don't forget to like and subscribe make sure you've got notifications turned on and i'll see you right back later